Okay, Good. we're going to start up with item number three, 44 Lisbonard Street. Okay. What number? Number three. Number this is three. an application for a certificate of appropriateness in the Borough of Manhattan, docket number 14-6182, block 194, lot 7503, 44 Lisbonard Street in the Tribeca East Historic District, a second Empire-style store and loft building designed by Isaac F. Duckworth and built in 1866-67. to and the application is to construct a rooftop addition, zone C6-2A. Is there a second? Good morning, commissioners, Rita Wong, preservation staff. 44 Lisbon Art Street is located on the south side of the street, um, right here, mid-block between Church and Broadway. Um, here, to the right, you will see it's a gray building that's in the photograph. Uh, the proposal is to construct a two-story rooftop addition set back from the front and rear facades and set below the existing roof surface. This is the existing section, and this area of the roof will be demolished for the rooftop addition. The first floor of the addition is going to be set back uh, 25 feet from the front facade, and then the upper story of the addition will be set even further back from there. You will see here is an existing bulkhead at the front of the building, and also one at the rear, and these two will remain in place. Uh, this is the proposed section, and here you will see that the first level will be set into the roof plane. Um, and here is the second story of the proposed addition, and it's set further back than the first level. And here are the bulkheads, uh, elevator bulkhead in the front, stair bulkhead in the back. Uh, these are the elevations. Basically, um, you're not really going to see much of anything from the front because of the existing bulkheads that's at the front. Here is the side elevation. The materials are um, uh, metal frame. Uh, windows and doors, there will be stucco cladding at the chimney, and uh, everything will be finished in a beige color to blend in with the uh, adjacent building addition. Um, so the commissioners actually approved a one-story rooftop addition in 2008, which was uh, closer to the front facade, and it was about three, story, uh, three feet less than the current proposal. We'll go to the uh, So they never took they never They never built that Was that one visible at all? That was also minimally visible. So, so the front is minimally visible? Is that the book that I'll I'll go not through the bulkhead. Yes, I'll I'll go through the images. So so mock up was built. Um, this is the a rooftop addition that was uh, approved by the commission in 2003. So this is at the adjacent building to the east. This is the mock-up that's here that you see, rising to the second story level. And then in terms of the visibility, um, you will see here, this is the building here, the two vantage points where the addition will be visible are H and I. And they are from very distant points, as you can see, from two to three blocks away. And the corresponding um, photographs, H and I, are here and also here. Can you and point out where, the, where it is? Yes. Oh, it's got the red circle around Yes. It. So here, I guess the lighting isn't so good. Here, yeah. you'll see that orange exactly. box. And that is the addition. That's only the second floor of the addition. The first floor is not visible. And what in front of it, white, that is actually the existing elevator bulkhead. And then if you move to the other photograph, which is from e even further away, it will be over there. But from closer vantage points, it's not visible. The architect is here. He will elaborate. OK, thank you, Rita. Thank you very much for the explanation. Um, I don't know if there's any further questions. 
questions or open oh, seeing? Yes. Yeah, um, the photograph H again, just go over the visibility in that photograph from what you're in now. Yes. Um, so what we're seeing in the photograph, as you can see, it's kind of hard with the light here, but you can yeah. see the outline of the mock-up that we built. And the way we built the mock-up was the entire two-story addition because it was too hard to kind of build the mock with the setbacks with the studs and have it be sturdy to stay up there this long. Um, so what you're seeing is the penthouse level that's that's going to be partially visible from this vantage point. So the arch is the penthouse? It's, is it the second floor? It's the second floor, yeah. Yeah, so we're doing a one full story, uh, a six story, a six floor addition, and then a penthouse on top of that. And what else are we seeing there? There's mechanical that belongs to an adjoining property? Yeah, this is an adjoining property. This is the elevator bulkhead in front of our building. And on and top of the orange? Back here, this is the, the uh, additions to the east of us, to okay. the building right next to ours. So the white is what again? The white is the, the elevator bulkhead. For this building? For our building. No, it's, it's been there since, who knows when. This was an original 7B conversion building that was done. And you can see photographs of that addition to the east of ours on the uh, on PO the right one. Yeah. So, so here you can see the pictures of the, of the uh, addition that's directly to the east of us. And we're still going to be below that. Okay. I think the big difference from what we had gotten approved about five years ago is that mm. um, in order to reduce the visibility and have the two-story addition approved this time, we kind of sunk the sixth floor into our existing fifth floor ceiling to reduce the height of that. And we're only about, once you take in consideration that, and then now we have a sixth floor addition and a penthouse, we're only about three feet higher total from what we previously got approved for the single-story addition. Okay. Uh, thank you. The testimony is the community board one, unanimous, full board approval. Anyone else to testify on this? Okay. Thank you. Discussion. Um, I could support this. I think it's so minimally visible. I mean, you have to really crane your eyes and your head to try to figure it out. And it's caught up in all kinds of other backdrop of rooftop additions. And it's modest. I, I can support it. I can as well. It's a, all the backdrop there uh, makes it nearly invisible. I agree. Anyone disagree? I agree. Okay. Hearing uh, close with a motion and a second. And Marjorie, number three. Uh, a certificate of appropriateness for 44 Lisp Bernard Street in the Tribeca East Historic District. The application is to construct a rooftop addition. I recommend approval, finding that the proposed work will not result in the removal or demolition of any significant architectural features of the building. That the proposed rooftop addition set back from the front and rear facades will only be visible from a limited distant vantage point from Canal Street and will be seen against the backdrop of other rooftop additions and taller buildings. That setting the first level of the addition below the existing roof surface will help mitigate the perceived height of one and a half story addition and thereby maintain a volume that will not overwhelm the scale of the historic building. And that the proposed addition's simple design, massing and materials, inclusion, including beige colored metal frame windows and doors, stucco clad walls, and black metal railing will be in keeping with the character of other rooftop accretions in the historic district and will allow it to blend unobtrusively with the existing roofscape. Second, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Approved. Thank you.